Just a note as well about three conga setup, and the reason why I wanted to bring three congas today was that kind of everything I'm I'm playing. Some guys like to groove more on the conga drum, but uh, and, and solo more on the kinto. But again, talking about kind of pop music, I'm playing most of the grooves centered round the high pitched drum, and then I'm using these as my kind of variants. Um, this one's got a much drier and quicker sound, so it doesn't kind of get in the way of the notes, you know, because that can really can really kind of screw with the harmony of a tune so I tend to try and keep them a little bit drier for um, using my fiberglass set which look like this these silver bongos um, keep them a little drier for for kind of pop gigs so um, what I'd like to what I'd like you to think about if you if you think about the order they're not they're not harmonically in order so what the way I think about it as a drummer with my drum head on is I think that as my snare drum that's my high tom and that's my floor tom. And then suddenly it makes sense to me rather than kind of going. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. So um, if I'm just playing singles now, close, close, open, close, close, that, close, 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 open, I can kind of easily pretty much substitute at will left or right for variant. So one, two, three, four. Another sound, I know I used a bit, a little bit of heel there for, for some tone, but mainly everything is 